Hello, this is Josh Pauling with Daddy's Workshop of the Carolinas, where we treasure things made and restored by hand. Recently, I completed three more Delta Unisol refurbs from 1950, 1972, and 1997. Here's a short compilation video recapping the completed projects. For more in-depth how-to Unisol videos, check out my Delta Unisol Complete Rebuild series available as a playlist on my YouTube channel homepage. And coming later this summer will be a complete rebuild series on the Powermatic 66, the Unisol's great competitor. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button as we continue to develop our woodworking and restoration skills. Thanks for watching. Okay, the 1950 Delta Unisol is all done. This is a complete teardown and uh, refurb. It was missing a dust door. Created a dust door out of plywood here and uh, made a homemade uh, badge, nameplate badge down the middle and uh, fabricated a little knob there. Um, hand wheels original, locking knobs original. You can see the original serial number tag there. Put a manual starter on here, a new old stock cutler hammer from the uh, period correct from the right era. Tabletop came out real good, nice and clean. And then I put a uh, Beesmeyer fence on it, a home shop uh, fence system. Gets about 40 inches capacity to the right of the blade. And uh, painted it to match, cleaned it up real nice. Slides super smooth. And then put a, a brand new Leeson 2 horsepower motor. I put a 4 inch dust port on it, wired everything up, and she is good to go. Another fun unisaw, it came out pretty nice. And here are just a few before and after shots. Here's what we started with, and here's what we finished with. It's another great project. These unisaws are classic machines, and uh, can always clean them up to look like new or better. Another Unisaw all done. This one's from 1972. Picked this up at a auction of a, in a warehouse where a guy was accumulating machines, never really did anything with them. And uh, based on all the stickers and such on this guy, I think it was from some type of uh, furniture manufacturing plant. So it went through my whole process, tore everything apart, rebuilt the inside as necessary with the uh, parts that needed to be replaced. So did my normal two horsepower Leeson single phase motor got a furnace manual starter on here uh, new belts new bearings and I put a Beesmeyer on this uh, gets up to about 40 inch capacity probably about 38 and so and then the five inch dust port added to the back as well another one all done and ready to go here we have a 1997 Delta Unisaw, three horsepower, single phase motor. Needed a lot of work. Um, I put a new uh, starter on it and I created this little bracket here that attaches to the cast iron um, tabletop. And then I created a side extension table. Uh, had to do some uh, reworking on the fence. Some of these parts here I had to rebuild uh, to make it actually lock on the rail and uh, cleaned up pretty good. So there you have it, 1997 Delta Unisaw. So here we'll just do a quick uh, tour, a recap of the process. Here's some pictures as it was when I purchased it. Uh, this was in a uh, sort of a plastics and composite shop. So the internals uh, had a lot of plastic buildup, which sometimes can be corrosive. So I had to do a lot of work on the internals. Uh, replaced uh, the locking bullets in both shafts and arbor bearings and belts, etc. Um, but once it was all clean and everything, everything was lubed up well, the motor sounds good and uh, everything moves as it should. Here's uh, when I'm installing the fence and I put a switch on as well, so we definitely took care of that. And then there it is with the new belts and then with the side extension table and ready to go. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope the video has been helpful for you. Feel free to subscribe using the subscribe link. And if you've benefited from the channel and enjoy what you see here, consider donating using the PayPal link that's on my banner picture on my YouTube channel homepage. I put out a video per week. Hope they're helpful. Anything else I can do, contact me. Thanks a lot.